Welcome back everybody, I am just a sec and it is my continued mission to show you an interesting video game almost every single day. This time we are going to have a look at Yolk Heroes a long time ago. Remember Tamagotchi? Man, that was a time before the original Pokemon even, where we raised our own little pocket monsters, so to speak, to then have them poop all over the place and eventually die and then repeat the cycle. Well, this is kind of what this game wants to be, the same Tamagotchi, but with a JRPG hero that is destined to save the world. So we're gonna raise them. Something like that. This game is supposed to come out in a couple of months. We're going to check out its demo. Settings menu, um, the basic stuff is there, um, the very least. Nice to see. I'm playing this with mouse and keyboard. I think controller doesn't work yet. Let's start a new game and let's see what it is about, shall we? The Land of Faria. Oh, that escalated quickly. It's under attack. Something must be done. Hiya, I'm the Fairy Queen, transcendent to meet you. You are my guardian spirit. I just created you right now. I'm pretty red, right? Your role is very important. The inquit God, iniquitous frog lord and his minions find fairies delicious. We do in fact taste like candy, so I do get it. However, this will not stand. Fairies hate being eaten. I'm going to create a hero. A hero to protect all fairy kind. This hero will stop the Frog Lord's machinations. However, raising a kid is, you know, really tough. I don't want to do it. So that is why I created you, my guardian spirit. You will raise and guide the hero and save fairy kind. Now, my guardian spirit, Will thou look after my Yolk hero? No, but thou must. No, but thou must. No. Ah, oh, come on. No. Bah. Are we going to have a problem here? <laughs> no. Glad to hear it. Problems are for problem makers. No. <laughs> I like how she actually turned that around. We should have said, no, yes, we have a problem. <laughs> now, let's get back to the task at hand. Now, watch as I form, uh, form the hero. Don't look directly at me. I make a weird face when I use magic. <laughs> Is it a Yoshi? I have done it. I'm pretty incredible. <laughs> what do you mean it's not a hero? Oh, right, yeah. It's an egg. It's not a hero yet. It's just a Yolk for now. But soon it'll be a hero. A Yolk hero. Hey, that's catchy. This is where you come in. Watch over them as they grow. Guide them on their quest. This is a helpless elf egg. It needs you. It's guardian angel to protect it. There are many hungry beasties out there looking for their next meal. The heat, rain and wind can be dangerous to the egg too. Don't let the egg get too cold or too hot. You want to keep the egg's temperature just right. This thermometer will help you maintain the egg's temperature. The longer the egg's temperature is in the perfect range, the healthier the hero, hero will be when it hatches. Okay, in the perfect range. This leaf is your mighty tool to keep the elf egg healthy and safe. You can move it by using the left and right arrow keys. Oh, arrow keys, okay. Gonna switch my setup here a little bit. Left and right arrow keys, okay. The leaf can be in one of the three positions. It can be on the left to block the cold wind, got it, on top to block the rain or the sun, or on the right to prote protect the egg from critters. Why are we shooting a critical role right now? I think these guys are pretty nice. Well, we're gonna protect the egg against them regardless. Moving the leaf will require energy though. Oh no. So keep an eye on your energy meter. Don't worry too much though. If you lose this egg, you can always try again until you succeed. No one saved a kingdom without breaking a few elf eggs, after all. Okay, time. One minute. Okay, sun, keep it on top. Easy. Come on, you egg. You got this. Gotta protect you from the heat. Oh, I see. Actually, need to... The heat... Need, need to... Oh, critter to the right. Needs to be at the temp... Oh! Whoa. Cold wind from the left. I see that critter on the right, but I gotta protect it from the wind, right? It's coming right at us! Whoa. Okay, it's fine. Perfect temperature. The temperature can go a little bit down. Little bit down, little bit down, little bit down. Oh, protect against the wind. There we go. 
Energy's rising. Temperature's rising. Okay, to the top. Ooh, energy. It's fine. Critter from the right. But we want to save some energy. Oh, no, it's ha Ooh, moving. Oh, you critter. <laughs> you thought you had a good meal, right? Okay, protect it from the rain. Energy's fine. There we go. There we go. Perfect temperature. I would say perfect. Oh, to the right. Also, keep the temperature down a little bit. Okay. Back on top. Protected from the sun. Actually, let's get it. Oh, there we go. Oh. A catched. HP 33. Strength 10. Dexterity 13. Intelligence 15. Your whole hero is skittish, studious, and lazy. Well, that doesn't sound very exciting. Press that to continue. Uh, skittish? Not a good. Studious? My studious might be good. Lazy? Oh, no. But very smart. Oh, great. Sounds way too much like me. Well, I guess like spiritual father, like uh, elf, right? Good work, guardian spirit. My yolk has become a polk. Welcome to the world, little hero. Fairies are ill-equipped to raise anyone. For this reason, we we'll let the local adventurers guild raise them. What better place for a hero to grow up? I like how she transforms into a Zelda fairy. Okay. There he is. The hero has hatched and is ready to face this big old world. It's your continued job as their guardian spirit to guide them throughout life. It will take a bit of time for the hero to grow. This tells you how long before this babe becomes a toddler. Make sure they are physically fit to take on whatever they encounter. You can do so by training them. You'll need to train their strength, dexterity and intelligence. Training can drain your hero's energy. Your energy will deplete as you go along your day too. Your hero will need to go to the bathroom from time to time. All of us do. Do that there. Or here. And no one likes a smelly hero. Not even the hero themselves. Keep their hygiene up to keep your hero happy. After a long day's work, your hero will get tired. Raise their energy by resting here. You can queue up to five actions for your hero. Cute actions will show up on the top left of the screen. You can cancel a cute action by hovering your cursor on top of the cute action. And click the X that appears. Pressing tap will open the quick access menu. Or Quam for short. Oh god. From there you can open the stats menu to check how your hero is doing. Energy, hunger, hygiene, bladder. Or hover your, uh, your cursor to the right of the window. And click on the window that pops up. And if you've missed something, you can check up on the, what happened from the event lock. You can open it from the quick access menu too. Nice, huh? Or hover your cursor on the very left of the screen and click on the window that pops out. Finally, you can always put the game in the background and go about doing other tasks. This will make... This'll... This'll... This will make the game window smaller and mutes all audio. That's, that's a typo, right? Also... Your hero will keep working even when the game is closed, so be sure to queue up a few actions before you go. And your hero will be ready for you when you return. That's all for now. So it's actually an idle game. Okay. <laughs> okay. I wasn't quite sure, but apparently it is. Look out for our little hero, Guardian Spirit. They will need your guidance. By going to the poo poo. Our yolk hero is small now. When big enough, they shall go questing. It is their duty to stop the Frog Lord. Their sacred quest. For now, though, enjoy their youth. We'll take more when they are a bit older. Just remember, all of fairy kind depends upon your success in this mission. Bye bye 15 minutes! Okay. Go strength training. Uh, what? ETA 5 minutes. Train intelligence? Strength. There we go. Yes. Okay. Go! Training strength. Okay. So I just wait 5 minutes now? We can queue actions, right? So for five minutes strength. Then, oh wait, what, is, what was that? Fruit for energy? You know what? We're gonna go full in. Then dexterity. Then intelligence. So 15, oh, that, that's all we can do though, right? It's very smart. So that, I, um, stats, events, nothing here. So gotta keep that in mind. So we might actually want to change this later on as well. But I, I don't know. Hygiene bladder. I guess I just wait 10 minutes and and see what happens. We literally can't speed this up, right? Okay, it's an idle game. Okay. So I guess I see you guys in <laughs> four real minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Three, two, one. Strength training has been finished. Yay! And now dexterity. Throwing a ball. <laughs> this is actually a cute animation. I like this. So how are our stats right now? Okay, energy, quite a few. But down, hunger, hygiene, blood are still fine. Man, this... Our baby really has, like, the strongest baby blood I've ever seen. Uh, respect for that, I suppose. Do we see the current stats? I mean, used to have... There we go, event lock. It used to have more intelligence, right? Um, it's gonna come in handy later, I suppose. So, you're gonna chill here. And after this... Energy, hunger... I mean, is it always in 5 minute blocks? Seems like our stats are fine, so might as well go full on and do the other 22 intelligence. Do you have 5 minutes, energy minus 10? Sure, let's go with that too. And see you guys in 4 minutes again. Here we go again. Training dexterity. Successfully. Yay! Ooh, and now you're reading books already. Yeah, well, no. Of course not, you're not reading, but, you know, playing with these... Um, got wooden bricks usually? I don't even know. Holzbauklötze. Uh, Bauklötze in German. Not quite sure what the bricks. Building bricks? Building bricks. Let's go with that. Actually, a very good. There's a bunch of psychological, you know, studies that this is so integral for tiny babies to, you know, develop um, smartly and goodly. You know, touch things, touch like these, play around with those. Not a screen, so this is pretty good. I mean, in a fantasy world, I guess there's not that much else you can do. How are our stats? Well, we have four minutes in. So we can't even fully com complete this, because I wasted 10 seconds at the beginning, maybe? Or maybe this is just the first day. I don't know, but stats are fine, so we gotta wait again, like 3 minutes, 50 seconds, I suppose. Here we go. Ooh, the day's over. What's gonna happen? Hey! Okay, training wasn't even done, but, you know, you... Played around with these things until you actually grew up. Here you go. Hey! Congrats! Your hero is now a toddler. They're not quite full grown. Fully grown. That will take a bit longer. When this timer is up, 30! Your Yolk hero will grow into an adult and be able to quest. Quests are very exciting but also very long. However, don't think that means you need to just here sit here and watch them. Yolk Heroes is a companion game. Your little hero will be okay if you leave them alone for any length of time. Don't be afraid to let it idle in the background, and only check in on your little hero periodically. Also, don't be afraid to close your heroes. Even while the game is off, your hero will continue to do what you've told them to do. You can come back later to see how they are doing and set them on some new tasks. But for now, back to the tasks at hand. An indicator of your hero's general mood will always be shown here. Hey, happy. Keep an eye on the hero and their actions to know what they might need. There's also food. Grab a bite over here to re recover some energy. On top of each meal replenishing a little energy, they also can have other added benefits. That's everything you need to know for now. We'll talk more when your hero is fully grown. I mean, I thought that would just be a quick recording, guys. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Finish dex training, hero grow up. So that intelligence training was a complete fluke, though. That was complete waste. Kinda sad. So we use energy and stuff for now. Well, hunger, bladder, energy. I guess we do still do some training. Simple five minutes now. Takes the least energy, I guess, because we're the least skilled there. I mean, I feel like we need to... Uh, let's try strength again. But intelligence is the best. Hard to tell. Do I see my current stats? You know what? Let's go intelligence. At least we tried all the things. Oh, bigger bricks right now. Seven and a half minutes, huh? Here we go. So do I close the game? I'm honestly afraid to in this demo. Oh, yeah, I forgot we could cue them. Guys, I'm just gonna see you in seven minutes. Here we go. All right, looks like I missed our little toddler. Finishing the last task. We didn't cure anything. Now it's at home with this strange lady here in our home. Is that... I mean, we are a spirit guardian. Uh, why? Why? Which are these weird people here? I guess that's the adventurer skill, right? I mean, the fairy mentioned that we gave our toddler kind of in there. Okay, let's do intelligence and we barely have enough time. And after that, you're going to go to sleep, little one. You better sleep. So that worked. Oh, no. 
I'm the worst. Okay, wait, no, you're not gonna sleep. Two hours? Wait, no! Wait, I can't do the other task anymore? But I want to do adventuring. I guess you just... Uh, okay, that's annoying. Just because I clicked it and I deleted, we weren't able to do... Because that would have worked, right? To do intelligence and then go to sleep. But because I started, we we'll kind of messed that up. That's that's honestly frustrating a little bit, but I guess I will now wait another 20 minutes in real life and then we can see what the adventuring is about. All right, see you in a second. This is like the best animation ever. Look at this. <laughs> pooping. We have a pooping timer. Pooping meter. Beautiful. Let's hope this helps with the bladder somewhat. Energy, I think... It seemed to have helped a little bit over these 20 minutes, but, well, time to be, come, a grown little adult while being on the toilet, I suppose. You are now a young heroic adult, and the Adventurer's Guild has finally admitted you as a full member. Time to start going on adventures. To train now, you'll need XP. Ooh, didn't think training was just going to be free, did you? XP can be gained from defeating monsters on your adventures. And you can only train each stat up to a certain cap. Level up doing quests to increase that cap. You also need money to exchange for goods and services, like food or items. That can be collected from quests or selling items in the shop. When you've got your own money, you can head to the shop to buy or sell items and gear. And to use your items, open your inventory and select the items you would like to use. Open your inventory by right-clicking or from the Quam using tab. You can check your stats and equip gear here, or from the quick access menu. Embark on quest to save the land from the Dark Lord over here. But be sure you're ready for whichever quest you choose to embark on. Don't worry though, if you fail a quest, your old hero will get scuffed up. But we'll be okay, you just need to train up and try again. Okay, not that happy. Hero grew up, finished in training, hero grew up, class changed. Class changed? Which class do we have then? Tap. Stats. Oh, that's literally just that. Well, go go back to pooping for a second. Okay, so we could train that. Okay, let's have a look at the shop. Buy, sell, buy. I mean, we don't have any money, right? Herb heals HP, heals more. A cola. Of course, a cola is more healthy than an herb, somehow. Ether reduces cooldown times by 15% for 5 minutes. Smoke bomb. Escape one fight. Strength plus. Buff strength by 25% for 5 minutes. Int. I guess we can scroll down for a bunch more. Iron Shield, heavy but protective for Warrior, Paladin, Archer. I mean, we don't know our class right now. YG, beginner's outfit for Ninja, Mage, Samurai. Okay, and Walking Stead for Druids. Be beginner Spellbook. <laughs> Got gotta start somewhere for Mage. Okay, what else? Um, sell, well, we don't have anything. We're kind of broke. Adventure Skeleton Quest. Adventure Skeleton, I suppose. Hero. Druid. Is that... Is that our class? We are a druid? Hero druid. Or is that someone we talk to? Weapon. Weapon inventory empty. Um, yeah, I would like to go back. Yeah, we don't have anything. Weapon, weapon, weapon. So I guess this is our hero then, as a druid. Druid is pretty cool. My Pretty much my favorite 5e D&D class. At least, well, maybe not the favorite, but definitely like in the top three, I would dare to say. I love the variety. In 20, dex 20, strength 17. Oh, I guess so. So, <laughs> love that pooping animation. This is the best part of the game so far. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, let's go on a quest, right? 15 minutes, energy 5, quest 1. Let's go. Are you sure? Yes. Fresh from pooping. I mean, halfway done. Yeah, that we, we are a druid. Druid spike. Cool. You're about to embark on your first true quest. Exciting, but terrifying. The hero will advance automatically on the quest. Walking ever towards the goal. You don't have to do anything. They know where they're going. You can check your quest progress on the right. You can click on the hero when walking to bring up the gear menu. Or from the quick access menu. You cannot change gear during battles though, so always be ready. You'll encounter various monsters on your adventures. I mean, technically it's not us, it's our hero, but whatever, right? <clears throat> the hero will need to defeat them to carry on with their quest. The hero acts on their own during battles, but you can help them out some if you want. When your hero attacks, hit the Z key at the right time to give them a small damage boost. When defending two, 
uh, time it correctly to get a slight boost. If you have gear with skills equipped, you can use those skills in battle. If your hero falls in battle, they will return back to town and all quest progress will be lost. They will be okay though, don't worry. You can also use items you've obtained from your inventory. Well, I've got nothing. To open your inventory, yep, okay, right click or open, uh, yep, tap the item menu is accessible outside the battle as well. One more thing, you can always check up on what happened from the event log. Just press tap, yep, or hover your cursor, yep, we learned that, and click, yep. Lastly, remember, you don't need to watch your Yuki <laughs> all the time. Feel free to, yep, check on them every now and then if they fail. It's okay, uh, you can nurse them back to health and try again. Okay, great, that's all you should need to know for now. Well, uh, why? If it isn't the youngest member of the Adventurer Guild, Tawny, you want to stop the Frog Lord? Yeah, don't we all? More immediately, though, we have a red problem. The terrible red champ keeps punching all of our livestock. Even his droppings are too evil <laughs> for most of us poor villagers to handle. Also, we don't want to. It's stinky. We need your help. And if you do this for us, the local village has a full set of adventuring gear for you. Yes! The red champ is out in the field. It's surrounded by his evil droppings. <laughs> Good luck. Walking. Click. This is our hero. A powerful druid with evened out stats, which not sure that is so good. Well, I guess. Do we have any timer for an indication? Or we do, I guess we just wait, right? So, yeah, we've got absolutely nothing. Hero, druid, no equipment, 33 HP at least, I guess. 17 strength, 20 dex, 20 int again. I mean, that's. Druid is kind of well rounded, right? So, I, I get that. I like that outfit, though. Not gonna lie. Well, I guess I see you guys once anything happens, really. A poop appears. Here is preparing to attack. Oh, click! I did it! There we go. Very effective. Only 32 damage. Even though we gave it a damage boost. I guess there's a little bit of a range, right? Okay. Two poops defeated. More to go. Hero leveled up. Walking. Oh, God. Stat increase. Level up to six immediately. I guess we were five before. 70 HP. 72, wow, we had like 33 before, that is like a huge stat difference. I enjoyed that, cool. 32 HP, okay, now we have a new level cap. Our stats are the same, but we have more HP, <laughs> literally more than double that. We had 33 before. Oh man, the, this game is gonna have some crazy stats later on, right? But hey, uh, it's a start. We're getting close to the end. I think we took some damage. We were at 77 before, right? And I think this is probably just a program, uh, program uh, error or a slight glitch. It's not supposed to say cap. It's probably to, supposed to display, you know, the cap limit, which is probably 77 of what we learned before. Another metal poop. Oh, here we go. Full attack. Buffed. Yay. One shot the metal poop. Here we go. Okay, we're still getting close to the end. 74 HP total. Do we have any cool items? I don't know what happened in the meantime. Oh, there we go. Oh, the red champion. Okay, here we go. We are made it down. <laughs> I am the red champ. I punch whatever I choose. Like sheep. Sometimes I punch livestock. Like I just said, yeah. Sometimes I punch villagers. Now I'm gonna punch you. And then you're gonna lose. Here is preparing to attack. Oh, I missed. Nine damage. Oh no, not very effective. Oh no, I missed the defend as well. Missed the attack too, though. Okay, here we go. Ah, full attack. Still only nine. Okay, but apparently that's enough. Ah, I am undone. How could I be bested by one so young? Hero prevails. Man, that thing had less than 18 HP. Well, you have defeated the red champ. He was the champion of all reds. Good work. The reds in town are incredibly demoralized, as promised. Here. A full set of adventuring gear. Received adventure sword, armor and shield from Tony. It may not be a lot, but it should help you get your footing as an adventurer. I hope you do manage to stop the frog lord. Good luck. We did it. You've completed quest 1. 88 gold collected, 86 XP gained, new quest unlocked. Here we go. Oh, my guardian spirit. You've helped the Yulk hero complete the first quest. Good work. Keep it up. I know you'll be able to stop the Frog Lord and say fairy kind. There's not much more for me to teach you. So, good luck on your quest, my guardian spirit. Now that I always watch over you. Bye bye Well, how are your stats? You got a good pooping? You pooping? Energy. 
I guess. These are our stats. Look at that. This is a cool adventurer. Uh, go poop him. You know, if adopt, go pooping. In the meantime, we want to look at the... How do I equip you? Stats, gear. There we go. So you are the hero. Here's an adventuring sword. Three extra attack. 21, 23, 23. But you didn't level up. Can I... D? No, I have to select this. Your stats were lower before, so did everything get raised by three? Maybe. Oh, there's the armor. Three attack, there's a bow symbol for some reason. I think the stats also got increased. And three. I think just by three, right? I guess so. Well, that happened. Adventure and shield. I would t call this a potion, but what do I know, right? The armor here is a bow symbol. There is a sh armor symbol. At least for the sword, it's cohesent. Coherent? You guys know what I mean. It's correct. There we go. So we could sell the equipment or we could buy a new one. We have 88 right now, right? So for some buffs, amulet, the symbol is of a fairy. For ninja, mage, samurai, ruby ring, traveler's robe, YG, and so on. Beginner spell book. If you want a bokken, a wooden training sword for samurai. Well, we are a druid. So we gotta look for that, I guess. Crane fist? No, monk. A toy sword, swing. Wooden sword. Even though we already have adventuring gear, right? Necromancer! Cute rabbit. You can, we could make a necromancer? Nice walking stick. Great for long hikes. I mean, let's buy this because we can, right? We are a druid, so maybe that's smart. I have no idea. Let's go gear. The walking stick is literally worse than the druid specific weapon. 24, 28, 28. And now the sword. 27, 29. 20. Well, what a waste of money. But at least we know starting stuff is good enough. But we can sell it back for 50, so that's fair. Everything else has a value of 130. Cool. You, you, you are very good at pooping. Let's go back to the main menu, ladies and gentlemen. This has been your hero. Um, definitely an interesting game, not gonna lie. I like that presentation very much. I actually like the humor of the fairy as well. The writing was actually very good. Um, the red champ as well. Um, I don't know, this... Uh, humor actually resonates with me. Again, cool presentation. I'm always a little bit hesitant, like a idle game like this on a PC on Steam. I don't know. Maybe on, I see a little bit more use for that on like a mobile device or so. But I mean, why not have it on PC as well, right? For that, yeah. Definitely solid, interesting. Um, yeah, that's my opinion so far. Nothing else to say. Definitely solid. Um, I can just repeat myself here. So please tell me what you think of the game. Stay awesome and we 